What is good, everybody? Perspective and mindset, episode one. I'm very excited for this project. I've been, I've been planning on doing it for quite some time now. I would say late 2019 is when I had the idea. For those who remember, I used to take little walks with my dog. Uh, you know, I put him on the screen here, here and there, and I'll just talk some real ass shit, you know. And I don't know. I, I stopped doing it. I just had. I was focusing on other things at the time. And then, you know, COVID happened. Of course, I had all the time there, but it's like, you know, me, I was just moving around. And then, uh, but this is a quick intro to the channel, what I'm going to be doing, how I'm going to be doing things. I'm going to try to keep it for sure uh, a lot different than like your usual talk show, um, you know, just so I could keep it fun to watch and exciting and entertaining. And pretty much, I'm just going to be diving into my perspective, my mindset towards this life of ours. And, um, you know, let's see, let's see where it goes, honestly. And my whole idea is if I just help one person, that's enough for me because I do see the importance of social media and how it works. And, you know, it is what, just me reaching out and telling people some real honest shit could help and change somebody, you know, because when I was doing the Instagram thing back in the day, I did get some good feedback, really good feedback. And, you know, so now I'm just going to make it official. I'm going to go hard once a week, every single week, 2021. Let's get it. And, yeah, you know, we this is actually in the works. Our future fire squad um, little studio is in the works. It's not done yet. But I'm going to be using it to do this project right now uh, once a week. You know, I'm going to be... Showing people my perspective on things uh, about positivity, health, uh, you know, mindset on how to get over a slump, how to and any anything you guys have to ask, hit me up, DM, comment. If you got my number, shoot a text. I got you. But yeah, pretty much this is what this channel is gonna be about. It's gonna be me. It's not really a podcast, a sit down podcast. It's not really a vlog neither. It's kind of a mixture of both in a way. Uh, and I'm just instead of me just telling you what to do, I'm going to be following me around, I guess, with the camera and pretty much just, you know, do this, the things that I'm saying to do. You feel me? Just so I can put it into perspective for you guys. And then a it also is a perspective to myself so I could reflect on it and learn, you know. Uh, so like I said, I'm very excited to start this project. And for this first episode of Perspective and Mindset, I kind of want to dive into something that I've taken from 2020 the most, and that's really to genuinely invest into yourself. And investing into yourself could mean a lot of things. It could just be, you know, things that you rock with heavy, things that truly make you happy. And that's something that I took out from 2020 or something that I learned from 2020 you do have to make that time for yourself man it was you know i was juggling around i was hustling moving here and there but um and it kind of distracted me from me actually living and because of that it put me in a very negative space you know very and i didn't even know it too which is the crazy part because you're just so busy and moving all the time that you'd never make that time to invest into yourself you know and that's what i've been doing you know me personally i do um you know, a lot of meditation. I drink the teas. I drink the smoothies. I drink. I'm on that organic lifestyle. Shout out to my boy Larry June. But yeah, you know, I, I definitely, for sure, have learned to make time for yourself, invest into yourself. And there's multiple ways to invest. You feel me? There's money wise. You can invest in something that's going to grow in value. You could invest into, you know, your knowledge, your health, your fitness, a whole bunch of things that you can invest into yourself. And also, because of me investing into myself, what I've noticed is that the last three months, I would say, I've been very productive, you know, because the entire 2020, I was just moving around, moving around, and I would get, you know, shit done, but it was never kind of like on a consistent pace where I wanted it to. And ironically, if I actually take time away from that and I give myself more time to balance my lifestyle, I became more productive. Of course, you know, things have changed for me personally and, and what my schedule looks like. So it gives me an opportunity to, you know, get that balanced lifestyle that I want. And that's what I'm doing. As soon as I took that opportunity, or as soon as I saw that opportunity, I took it 
and I'm running with. So I'm very excited to start this channel with you guys, get some feedback from you guys, some honesty. So this right here, guys, is how you invest. Look, not every investment that you make has to be financially with like, you know, something that grows in value. You got to invest into your knowledge, your health, your mental health, like your well-being. And this is one of them. This is one of my favorite ones. Uh, and it's investing into my education, right? And sure, you know, school is a great way to learn things. But me personally, I like to educate myself on my own time. You know, I feel like, look, I got you guys. Look, we, we good, man. We got, we got the body armor. We about to go to Barnes and Nobles. All right, look, I'm gonna show you guys how to invest a quick, quick hundred bucks. Got gotcha. you. Classmates can't believe the place I took it to. If I didn't rap, that I would be a good masseuse. Fun fact. But it's a hidden talent cause she rubbing my back All these different cities I'm becoming sidetracked She leaving my hotel wearing something I packed My wardrobe spread across the whole map Jay Wise used to book me for the open mics Kills me when they act like this was overnight Like we didn't do a tour in a tiny van Eight deep at the show it might be eight fans mm, That builds character Something y'all could probably use more of If I told the truth to her I know she be tore up They love it when I rap and I don't even put a chorus Turkey on ciabatta from the deli shot the moras 30 grand to show up We might as well pour up Fake handshakes we know you ain't going for us Bam you see that's how you invest a good 60 bucks I got one book right now And I ordered I ordered two books that are going to be coming in next week so i'm telling you man you gotta invest into your knowledge this is an investment i'm not getting money from this right now but i'm expanding my knowledge and shit let's see how it takes it let's go another form of investing into yourself is in, is into your health you feel me that's why i'm at whole foods today my favorite store mm, second favorite store target is number one but and i look i know whole foods is expensive because, you know, it is like more natural food, I guess. But this is my investment. I don't really buy too much, like, I don't buy the fancy shoes. I don't buy, all you know, too much. But when I do invest into myself, this is why I hear Yes, sir. Let's get it. Tapped in with Mike, got the old school hit Sliding down High Street in Oakland and shit Saw my old game, so I stopped and waved Another investment you gotta do is your, is to your peace, man And, you know, there's, there's a lot of different ways for people to do that Everybody is different, of course For me, you know, I like to come to the park, chill It's nice today, it's very, it's not, it's December I mean, it's uh, January now Happy New Year, by the way, guys and it's not too cold, you know, so I'm chilling here. I got my Whole Foods, got the book, yes sir, uh, laptop so I can do some work, and then my water, you feel me? So we doing it healthy, we doing it good, and this is what I find to create that balance in my life where I could, you know, focus, settle down, and just breathe. Another thing you gotta invest to is your fitness as well, guys. Y'all gotta come to the gym, get active, you feel me? I'm about to go in, peace. Thank you once again, guys, for tuning in to Perspective and Mindset, episode numero uno. We are going to be back next week. I need your guys' help with either um, Monday drops or Wednesday drops. You guys let me know which one you guys are feeling better. I'm feeling Monday just so everybody can get, start their week on their right foot, you know. Um, Wednesdays is cool, too, because that's like hump day, so that's cool when people fall off, so I could lift them back up, you know. But um, you guys let me know in the comments, DMs. You know, all that, uh, let me know. Remember, the goal of this channel is to help you reach that best version of yourself and have that healthy perspective and that positive mindset. And, you know, we're going to go back and forth with it. Make sure you guys stay safe out there. Make sure you guys drink water every single morning. Sip some tea. Get your juices on. You, Your health is your wealth, y'all. Come on. Invest into yourself. Uh, but thank you guys. Remember, always keep it peaceful, keep it positive, and keep it real. All right, y'all.